Yo, welcome along to episode 4 of the Liquid DMB track from scratch series. Today is melodies and miscellaneous stuff. Essentially, the track's sounding really good, it just needs all the other bits and bobs and random shenanigans and melodies to tie everything together and make it sound absolutely fresh. So that's what we're going to do today. I've also decided that this track is going to be entirely just Ableton. So there's no like third party plugins you'll need, it would just be Ableton 10 or 11 suite you're good to go. So we do have a problem of a serum synth that was uh, being used here. I have tried to recreate it inside of Wavetable and it's similar-ish, it's not fantastic. So I'm kind of doing the same thing but I really really like this original one so what I'm gonna do to keep this as a super Ableton kind of only session, I'm gonna freeze flatten this. Oh come on, it's just one channel bro, flatten. We'll layer this in with the new sound. This is the new uh, synth by the way. I've also changed the kick drum. The last kick drum was not ideal at all for this track. So I want the low mids for that and the high end for this. some atmospheres, some subtle risers. I might just create like one uh, analog white noise patch that we can like sweep in and out of different sections. So time to get our sound design on. Beautiful. Uh, noise, os2 off, color, and high pass. Which one? Okay, um, so a little introduction here. Doesn't matter what note you play, all the notes are white noise. Legato. Why don't we just make things easy? Instead of having a specific instrument for white noise, we just make a down sweep, freeze flatten or resample, and then, yeah. Why is that really long? That's what she said. Um, anyway, we move. <laughs> Lots of reverb. So much reverb. There, there. Consolidate. Alright. Reverse in. Do we want to lay on this? Yes. I don't know if I'm deaf, but I can't really hear it once it got past that last bit. And then sweep. Oh, is that just too beautiful for this track? I should sample the rain outside actually for that extra ambience. That was sick. Okay, we want that and. Now oh, it's the next bit. Fuck yeah. Another one. Yeah, just this is going on end of every section, lead it into the new sections. We don't need it there actually. <laughs> Turns out we don't need it on every section. Yeah, the drum break sounding way better with the revised kick. Alright, another analog, another riser. Um, okay, this is gonna be four bars as well. Legato. MIDI control, pitch, and uh, pitch bend. Up to the max value. 
Back into analog. Don't want unison. Pitch bend range, 12. Can it go to 24? Aw. Oh. Sounds good. Freeze flatten that. Actually, we'll give it a bit more juice. Clip, transposition. Halfway up, now it's going to hit 24. We'll go to 12 there. Up the pace for the second half. <laughs> we'll steal these effects. Fuck! Do I want that? Did I have an F? I think so. I want this super subtle. EDM-ish. We move. All right, anyway. All right, a couple of risers in the bag. Specs, ambience. I did have the weirdest idea for like <laughs> some atmosphere sound. I don't know if this is gonna work. If it made the cut and you hear this, it works. LFO frequency shifting is the, is the name of the game. Okay, what what are we what are we we F? We A? We D sharp, okay, we're way off. There we go. Alright, I want a kind of atmosphere sound, but like I said, Ableton only project. So, no serum, <laughs> no third party plugins, <laughs> no gran granulator, yes, but I want to try this idea first, uh, oscillator, I want a few more harmonics, I want the LFO rate to do some madness. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to try this. My sound design frequency knowledge does not exceed. Yeah, we need some alpha on that, okay. L, F, O, I think it's this one. Map to this. Starting point 50 to... Okay, this... Yeah, no, we just need to... Oh, another mapping. Map this to this. Fast, bro. Okay, we're getting there. Another frequency shifter. Don't you replace that one, thank you. And now map that to that. Another one. Um, harmonics that work. Ah! That sounds alright. Map that to that. Have that there. Descending. Sweet. 
Sounds like shit. Oh, I fucked it up so bad. Nice. What about Green Delay? Oh, I've got heaps of ideas now. This is definitely the melody in Miscellaneous episode. Anyway, uh, sync. Actually, no, we'll leave sync on to two, pitch 12. That sounds like shit. Map that to. Uh, It's a very slippery slope between making the sounding good and absolute shit. Yeah, what the fuck is this now? You look at that in there. Nah, get out. Yeah, we want these juicy partials or harmonics in this main fundamental. Oh man. Noise. Fuck, I don't know. Tis the question. Sound design hard on. <laughs> nice. Okay, this weird thing, this Atmos. It's got Atmos, we've got effects. We chuck in vocal samples. Even, I'm thinking just reverb the crap out of them anyway. <laughs> Okay, we need a mean uh, reverb chain to kind of test these vocal samples out with. Way quieter. It's so loud. We need more sweeps. More reverb on that. Okay, I have an idea for a melody. God, that sounds good already. A bit of frequency shifter. Why does it make it so wide? Oh well, game's a game. 
All right, and a bit more reverb, and then D sharp. Yes, D sharp it is. Where can I steal something? There. Oh, that is a beautiful liquid lead. Oh, C, maybe. No, it's D sharp, what the? as close to that second note as possible. Nah, that sounds shit. Cool, cool, good start. I want an octave up. And for that, I was thinking Sound Toy is a little alter boy, but I can't use that. So, Ableton only episode, so going to hope that this works. 12 semitones, up an octave, sync off. Sounds. Nice. Okay, we need to fucking we need to limit the shit out of this after. That can go down an octave. We need way more feedback and delay. It lasts the entire length. Oh shit. What was this note? Oh, we need to copy across the vocals for the rest of the track. Sample. I'm gonna make an octave thing of the vocal. That was the worst explanation ever, but uh, hopefully, just let this run for like a couple of bars. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, and then have this kick in 12 semitones up with a fat reverb and louder. All right, hopefully this should be all good. was not Ugh. oh no we got something else clashing with it what the fuck
God damn it. Ableton, did they ever fix that in Ableton 11? MIDI control, pitch bend. So, sometimes the pitch bend will fuck out if you have automation on it. There we go. Now we're talking. Check down some choruses. We want that in new sections. Why did this work so well before? What have we... Okay, so it's just doing that whenever it's just main kind of one chord. So theoretically, we could chuck it there then. Drenched in reverb. Have another idea, let's go. One note here. I'm gonna freeze flat that D sharp, <laughs> root note of the uh, scale. I'm gonna shorten that, reverse it. That's kind of the intention. Nice noise! I kind of don't like how there's so much reverb. This bit is meant to like build climax, it's quiet, and then do do do. So. Turn off there, delete that. And then the risers can be deactivated there. That's the money. Resample the drums again. Solo. Resample. That's enough. There. When the drums are double the volume. Um. Reverbed, panned. Hey. I think I know what's missing in the chorus. Another piano. Okay, what have we got here? Mellow. So we use mellow. What equal solo? The 
This is what I'm calling the slammed layer. Actually, no, no, we don't want that slammed. Yes, it's a liquid track. Yes, I'm using OTT. No, I'm not using OTT. We need a wide layer. Sync, time, no. That delay is fucking weird, but we roll, it's wide now. I think I made it worse there, not gonna lie, guys. that ending but it's so out of the blue and just a little bit too weird so what the fuck I forgot I had that Yeah, okay. We move. What if... Oh my god. I kind of want the bass there, but I also want like a kick just going dud, 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 and building up in volume, if you know what I mean. No, we want this kick. I'm gonna have to do something with the drum full so it doesn't clash.
reverb out or volume automate out? I think the big problem is the volume differences. <laughs> it's the same volume, but every, it, it, it's everything in and then the drums come in and like, well, that does make an impact. It's still like at the same volume. We need like a massive difference between this build up and this drop. Something like that. I feel like we're revealing too much before the initial kind of BAM. Actually, it's stuck in my head already. <laughs> Guys, I think it's pretty much there apart from mastering, which will be next episode. And, and sticking with the all Ableton theme, the mastering will be in Ableton using Ableton plugins. OTT. A little bit of a random episode working on the Atmos, random melodies, effects, etc, etc. But I do think they all tie in the track together very nicely. Quite a few resonances actually we'll probably need to sort out uh, during the mastering phase. But uh, you know, that's next episode. It's not today's episode. Mastering episode then, I'll drop in the project file for free. And then it's DMB serum time. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button and catch you guys next time for the mastering episode. Yeah, this track is sounding banging.